Hey guys, welcome to my Mage PvP gearing guide for the final season of Wrath of the Lich King. Season 8 or Phase 4. This video is going to be split up into two parts. First, I'm going to talk about how to get a mage freshly geared up if you're starting from scratch. And then we're going to move into the big BIS items that you need to look out for in your raids and GDKPs. Okay, so let's say you're starting from scratch or you haven't played your mage in a while and you want to get like up to speed. First thing you're going to do is go to Area 52 and you're going to grab all the Furious items you can get. This is probably going to look like your 5 piece Furious set at first. Once you've got your main pieces, the next step is to farm Gamma Dungeons over and over for the Defiler Scourge Stones because a lot of the items you can pick up, like this weapon as an example, or you can also pick up Scale of Fates, you can pick up Conductive Seal, you can pick up Normal Mode Solace. These items are fantastic for catching up quickly on Mage. Before I want to go into the crazy Biss section, I want to go over what a realistic set looks like. This is your 4-piece Wrathful from Arena Points, and sprinkled in are some items that should be relatively easy to obtain for you. You should be able to get a Heroic Solace, depending on what you're playing. You can get this Rep Ring basically for free, farming Rep or running ICC. Everything else by everything else I mean this ring and these pants are super easy to get 25 men normal gear. So this is like a 25 men normal ICC slash old content slash 2200 with your weapon kind of gear set. This mage, this mage rocks dude. You can get gladiator easy if you're a god at mage. If you want to build the strongest mage possible in season 8 of wrath it comes down to four items more or less. These pants, which you swap out your PvP set to bring in some extra hit. This ring off the first boss of ICC. Blood Surge, which drops off of Heroic Lich King. This is going to be basically impossible to get until like the 20-30% to 30 buff for a lot of guilds. It also comes down to Dislodged Foreign Object, the most powerful trinket of them all. Only the most powerful and wealthiest oil tycoons will achieve this. There's also a normal mode version, which is not that bad. I would also wear that. Also, I want to talk about the charred twilight scale really quick. This is going to come out with Ruby Sanctum. We don't know when it's coming. And the question is, do you wear this thing over DFO? The answer is maybe. <laughs> You're going to have to test it out. I can actually see myself wearing this, especially if you just want to do crazy burst up front instead of waiting for the stack to get higher and higher. So keep an eye out for this. Anyways, that's it for me. Short and simple this time. All the links you need are in the description below. Ask me if you have any questions. I'll get back to you. Later.